What's going on? Uh, today I'm actually bringing up a question to you guys because uh, I'd really like your input. Uh, the topic for today is about phenolic spacers. And uh, once I buy one, it'll be going on this car right here, which is my Subaru 2007 STI. And uh, as you can see, it is front mount. Okay, so uh, I'm sure when you think of phenolic spacers, you think of Grim Speed first off, which they're the ones I, I found first and the one that I've been looking at forever, or what seems like forever. And uh, I've been looking at the 8mm because, you know, the more you space it, the better it is heat wise and keeping things cool and that kind of thing. Um, but then today I was, I was looking around for whatever reason and I found another one which is KS Tech and uh, I know from my mechanic who likes them that you know they are good but uh, when I was talking about KS Tech in the past it's always been about air intakes I never knew they made spacers um, and both of them do come with with bolts and washers to secure you know the new height difference to the motor but uh, my question <clears throat> is uh, first of all, if you guys, you know, if you guys have seen this in real life, which one do you like? Which one, you know, is is better, really, when it comes down to, you know, which one is better? Have you seen either of them that have faults? Um, let's see, where is it? Yeah, I came across this picture. I don't know if they did that by themselves. I'm assuming to line it up better. Um... Okay, but I came across this, and they were talking about the well about both of them really but see the KS Tech comes in different sizes and uh, you know I think the 9.5 if I do go with KS Tech will be good uh, let's see where is it okay but here yeah see this is I'm assuming is a Grim Speed and they're showing how you know it's maybe a tiny bit off on the alignment where this one's like really good and of course it is like 1.5 millimeters thicker. And then uh of course with these these type of uh items gaskets are recommended which of course you know I'm going to definitely go with that because I want to make sure that it seals but my question really is what type of gasket should I stick with OEM like what's recommended or could I go with say Grim Speed gaskets? Uh, which I know Grim Speed, the majority of them, at least for Subaru, are 22% thicker, I believe. So I don't know how that's going to affect, um, you know, the bolts being able to reach all the way. Because you're, you'd you have a 22% thicker gasket on the top and on the bottom of the spacer. So once you spaced it out, you know, that much more, I don't know if it would be... How it would how it would work, you know, would it, would it reach? Would you be able to torque it down properly? So should I go with different gaskets? Is there one that you guys recommend? Or should I go with OEM? And again, which one do you recommend? <laughs> um, and then back to the, the same question. You know, what have you guys heard of this KS Tech uh, phenolic spacer? What do you guys think about that? Or should I go with the Grim Speed? Because I'm really... Well, I'm kind of actually leaning towards this one. I kind of like it better. Um... Even though, you know, I've been looking at this forever right here. Yeah, so which one of those? Uh, what type of gaskets? Uh, my other question is about uh, putting the bolts in. I had read in a forum somewhere that uh, I guess after a while, you know, once you torque the bolts and, you, and you've installed it uh, and it, it settles that I guess the bolts might have a chance of becoming a little bit loose. And that's why it's it's a good idea to check the torque on them, like every 500 miles or something. Uh, have you guys heard about that? Is there any any truth to that? Because I honestly don't know. I've never dealt with this part of my car before. You know, not not this part of my car that's like very important. You know. Um, and the last question is about clearance. Even though I'm not running top mount top mount anymore. Uh, I still, you know, I want to make sure that my map sensor and my, my intake manifold isn't, you know, smashed up into my, my heat shield of my of my hood. And I don't know if anyone's had any experience with that, but if you have, you know, please 
drop me a line, you know, write a comment, let me know. I'm very interested. <laughs> nice. I'm very interested in these. And uh, I will buy one, no matter what. It's just a matter of which one I get. Lean towards the KS Tech, unless you guys can convince me otherwise. And uh, besides that, I just want to know if I can run, you know, Grim Speed gaskets with it, or if I have to use OEM. Because I'm worried about it fitting and the clearance and everything like that. You know, about it being able to be torqued properly and, and hold on there. I'm going to get this one too. Later. So yes, that is my question for that. Uh, I'd, I'd very much appreciate any feedback, any comments, suggestions, anything. Especially if you have one on your car and you know you can tell me your real life experiences with it. Well, uh, I guess that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, thank you for watching. And uh, as I said in the past, I promise you there will be major upgrades eventually. I'm still currently in the process of getting everything together. Um, let's see. See, all this, this is where I get the parts. Well, the majority of them from, I go through Define Performance. But look, these are all the parts that I'm looking at. You know, from thermostats to the little gauge thing you put in the, the radiator, the Helton horn, stainless steel braided um, brake cables, the billet. Uh, adjustable, I think it's the internal wastegate delete bracket, another external wastegate. Uh, I need a new shift knob because my other one's worn out. Fuku silicone hoses, ancillary hoses, I'm looking at clutches, flywheels, cotter coils and boots, a new battery. Uh, I think that's that yellow tape that's supposed to wear off keep the heat off of it or whatever, prevent heat soak. Yeah, so I've got a crap load of stuff to buy. <laughs> so, you know, when I say there will be more upgrades, like, I mean it. You know, I've been looking at this stuff forever. I'm just, you know, I don't want to spend all my money at once and have nothing because there, there's also labor costs, which I don't know what that will be, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to eat it anyways. I want to get this thing done already. Alright, we guys have a wonderful night. Thank you very much for watching.